Welcome back racers to our final day of our group 3 hot lap challenge around Spa and uh, we're trying to beat the Citroen, the Citroen with a 212.039 uh, is leading the class right now by around 3 tenths of a second over the Viper. Today we have the Ford GT LM Spec 2 test car. I have no idea how this is going to do, let's make sure we have everything correct yep no traction control please hard tires BOP is not changed Whoa. oh black screen oh thank you Gran Turismo Sport perfect game now much alike the Citroen I don't really know how this car drives what I do know is that it is American so I am expecting the brakes to be terrible. I'm sorry, Americans. I'm sorry, but you know it's true. You know it's true. Wow, it, wow, that is super planted through there. That was ridiculous. Obviously sporting a fantastic golf livery. This is uh, obviously throwing it back many moons. Yeah, oh gosh, look at those brakes. Oh gosh. Okay, yeah, just like I was saying. Uh, wonderful golf livery. Uh, not good brakes. And it's pretty different in the way that the Citroen... I'm doing this directly after I just recorded the Citroen one as well, so... It is a completely different car to learn because I think I'm going through there in the at the bottom end of third gear instead of going through there in fourth. The gears are much, much longer. I don't think it has a seventh gear. Obviously, I'm driving like trash right now because when I talk, I can't hear the car. <laughs> this is the uh, struggles that I go through. So I think this is... Okay, that's first gear. Okay, this is what I do when I stop talking and I go, okay, I'm going to get my head around the gears, blah, blah, blah. This is what I do because... You need to know, you need to know what gear to be in what corner. I mean, it, I know it sounds self-explanatory, but it really could change. It, as soon as you go a little bit smoother, you start getting your entry speed sort of consistent. Then you know that you can go flat through things. Now, my worry is that, oh gosh. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Now, my worry is that I said Irouge and Radion was pretty smooth, and I pretty much nearly went through that really fast left-hander before the, the uh, bus stop chicane. I nearly went through that flat. So that is saying one of two things. One, this car is ridiculously stable, and it's fast, and it's going to absolutely smash the Citroen. Or, we are not going like we're not going as fast as that Citroen so it's easier to go through those fast bits there I have no idea I I don't know let me know in the comments section what you think the Ford GT is going to do is it going to be an upset or is it going to be a mid-pack bitch oh, I should have said that. you get the gist okay right let me get my head down see what I can do, learn the car a little bit, might see you on lap 4 or 5 depending on depending on how it's going, <laughs> see you in a bit, Whoa. damn I think, I think lap 5 could have been the fastest, anyway, I don't know, I don't know what the Ford is going to do, I'm trying to compare it to gear changes and how it feels going through corners as I don't really know it's such a different car to drive than the Citroen I really don't know this could I think it's I think it's gonna disappoint I think it's gonna disappoint prove me wrong Ford but I think it's going to disappoint I think middle of the road I think this is going to be a, a high 216 I don't know what I'm basing that off of but a, a high 216 
Oh, okay. Oh, I was very wrong. I was very, very... What on earth? Are you kidding me? Lab 3, I did feel good on Lab 3. Are you kidding me? That already puts it in front of <laughs> the F-Type and the BMW. What? Uh, this is this is going to win. I, I I have no doubt that this is going to win. What? Is there any is there any point of doing a medium tire? Is there any point of doing medium tires? Yes, because I've done that with every other car. So let's see what we do. <laughs> let's not ruin it now. Let's not ruin it now. Let's go. Thank you, black screen. Come on then. The medium tire. Yep, already, already grippier. Already grippier. Let's freaking go. Okay, here we go. I've only done three laps because one, I know it's going to go faster. Two, I'm a little bit pressed for time today as I realize I have a little bit of work I need to go to. A 213.675 on the, uh, on the uh, medium tires. Actually, that is pretty close. That is pretty close to what the Citroen was. I think it was a 213.7 for the Citroen on the medium tyres because it was only four tenths away from the Hurricane. Now this is we're only three tenths away. Oh my god, this could be a seriously close battle. Let's put it on the soft. That actually, the soft actually takes away stability and gives braking. Let me just change that back. Yeah, so look, 6.1. 4.2, 5.8, How freaking crazy is that? Did it change the acceleration? No. It gives us less stability on the, the softer tire. That's a bit mad. Right, five laps. For two, 12 dead. Can we go into the two 11s? Thank you, Black Screen of Doom. Thank you. Uh, much appreciated. Let's go then, Ford. Obviously, I'm going to put in a couple of hot laps. In my own head. Wow, I just went through that in second. And that felt okay. Okay, here we go, Ford. Let's do it. Let's do it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Fudge. Fudge, 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 fudge. Extended it again. Damn it, we got one more try. One more go after this. This is lap four. Gosh. Why do we always leave it to the last lap? <laughs> God damn it. Come on then. Lap number five. Let's do this. A little bit squiggly on exit. A little bit early on the break-in, maybe. Come on, O'Rouge. Come on, Radion. There we go. Nice. Power, power, power. All the way up. I believe it's the Kemmel straight. Probably should have done my research before doing this playthrough. Heavy on the brakes. Oh, we've hit a bollard. We've hit a bollard that's lying there. Dodged a second one. Ah, oh, that's really annoying. And now my head's out of it. Now my head's out of the game. Come on, get it back in. Get it back in. Come on. Oh, that's so unfortunate. That is so unfortunate. It's 
make sure I have two very good final sectors. Come on, come on. Damn, that's so unfortunate. That's so unfortunate. What are the odds? What are the odds? I mean, yeah, I shouldn't have hit the bollard previously, I guess, but. So sue me. So sue me. Come on. A little bit wiggly, but that's going to be it. Is it going to be a 212? Is it. Oh, sorry, car. Is it going to be a 212? I don't know, guys. I don't freaking know. It's done it. It's done it. It's done it. It's done it. 211.795. Oh my god. The Ford GT topples the top of the leaderboard. Wow. The last two just weren't good at all. My best lap was lap three. Man, absolutely smashed it there. Pretty close with that final lap. We would have done it on the final lap. That would have been pretty pretty close if we did it <laughs> if we did it on that one but oh my god we have a new winner a new leader probably going to come back and see if we can do all of the uh, group three cars just to you know keep it going or we might do another car and track combo but that is going to be it for this leaderboard now someone did say for me to go back and see what i could get in the uh, BMW M3 just to see if it really is that slow because look it's it's ridiculous it's nearly two seconds slower than the F-Type now in theory I should be faster because I've done this track seven times five laps you know with three so that's 15 laps per car then times seven you, you, that, that's a lot that's a lot that's like a hundred laps basically um, I'm going to do that, so let me just go and pop and do that quickly. Here we go then, the M3, everything on soft. Uh, thank you, black screen of doom, and let's see what we can do with the uh, with the BMW. Oh my god, look how boxy it looks. <laughs> right, I'm just going to do, I'm going to do two or three laps just to see. And then I'll uh, see you at the finish line. Come on, BMW. 216.7 I think we have to be let me tell you now it just feels like there is no grunt behind the car whatsoever anyway stop talking I'll see you at the finish line it just does not feel fast I just did this is on lap 2 I'm only going to do 2 laps but I just did Radion and Eau Rouge flat. Radian and Oru's completely flat. But there's just no there's no drama. With the GT40 I felt like there could be drama. Like here I'm flat out. In the GT40 doing flat out with the angle that I just entered that corner I would be understeering to the side. But with this you could just plant your foot and sweep around it forever. Another example is this this corner here. Just change gear. I've, I'm just flat out turning as hard as I can. You could not do that even with soft tyres on the GT40. You just couldn't. Same thing with this corner here. Just turn in just turn in and it just sticks and it comes around and look how late we can break here past the 150 and that's still too early so that says to me either the brakes are fantastic in this car or it's just going really really slowly so a 216 7 and I did a 217.9 um Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what? Okay. Um. Uh. Well, I don't know how I got that time before then. 
but you can tell that it's not going to improve. It's not going in. It's not. It's just not. It's not going in to improve. We'll, we'll delete that ranking from the board. Um, but there we go. Those are your top seven. I hope you enjoyed uh, the uh, Hot Lap series this week. It will be back uh, in a couple of weeks or so as we uh, cycle through our games, our different games on the channel. So thank you so much for watching, liking, and subscribing. Let me know what your favorite car was out of the seven that we've done so far. A big congratulations to the Ford GT LM Spec 2 test car for absolutely smashing the field and a, 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 just a shame. Just shame on you, BMW M3. Shame on you. Uh, but there we go. Thank you so much. I really hope you enjoyed it and uh, we will see you in the next one. Have a fantastic day.